Hey, it's Paul. I'd like to bring your attention to Quokka.js. Now, this is a plugin for Visual Studio Code and the JetBrains IDE. And from within this plugin, we essentially have a live scratch pad for JavaScript, as they call it. This essentially means that anything that we do within the scratch pad, we're instantly given the results for. So for example, on screen right now, you can see an example of this. We can see the result and then the result is 100 and we see that within our editor. If the result changes, that text changes next to that variable. This is really good if you want to see the results of your code instantly inside of the editor. So let's take a look at this inside of VS Code. So I've got a Visual Studio Code instance open and I'm gonna head over to the extensions and in the extensions here, you can see that we have something called quokka.js. You'd have to type that into the extensions search bar and then install it into your VS Code. Once you've done that, reload VS Code and we should be ready to go. I'm gonna hit Command P and from here we can select some actions and I'm gonna say quokka.js and from within quokka.js, we want to generate a new TypeScript file. By doing that, what we have now is the terminal at the bottom that has appeared that has said Quokka is running and it's saying we're running TypeScript 232 and anything we type in here will be instantly evaluated. So let's try this out. If we had a const and that const was named boolean and that was equal to true, if we were to log that boolean, we would get true. Let's make something a little more interesting. So let's say we have this array. So I'm going to say const my array. And this array is going to be an absolute mess. So inside of the array, we'll have a value named my nested value. And this value will be nested quite deep inside of an array. So let's nest it like that. And what we want to do is write a function that will unnest that array and then give us the evaluation inside of our editor. So we can say const unwrap and unwrap will take an array. It will check to see whether the input is an array. If it is an array, we'll call unwrap once again on itself, passing it the array zero inside of the parameter. So this is the next nest down. Otherwise, if it's not an array and it's a string such as my nested value, we will return the value. So we've got these different colors going down the side, such as the green and the amber. If we were to then say unwrap my array, you can see that the function goes from being unused and amber to now being green because it's being used. So we're unwrapping the array. Let's log it out to see the results of that. And to the right of our unwrap function, we can see that it is my nested value. If we change this to be one, we would have one, two, three, or an object name Paul, age 25, and so on. We could continue to wrap this in more arrays and always we would get our unwrapped function. Each time, if we then make a mistake, for example, if we were to remove this my array, we now see my array is not defined. So this is much quicker than running it in the browser. So this is a small example to Quokka, but I hope you find it useful in your projects and use it as a good live scratch pad. The creators of Quokka also have something called Wallaby, which you can use in a similar sense, but for your unit tests. That one is paid and Quokka could be paid in the future, but for now it's completely free. If you like this video, then of course hit that subscribe button, check out Quokka, and until next time, my name is Paul, and I'll see you very soon in the next video.